All right, I'm going to be testing another one of these Venturi siphon devices that you can attach up to your your uh, outside spigot or right up to a hose. Uh, the idea is that the water will flow through the device. So there'll be a pressure difference as it passes through, is causing enough suction for you to <coughs> feed some uh, liquid fertilizer up the line. In this case I've got 16 ounce uh, me measuring cups <clears throat> with some uh, food color in it that we're going to be able to watch the suction come up into and mix inside of this, this uh, device. Then it's going to go over on this red hose to a shower head type of soaker that will feed into the bucket here. So for the test we're trying to figure out how much, uh, how many gallons will be uh, used to empty 16 ounces using this device. So let me get it started and we'll give it a try. Should be able to see the liquid coming down working very well. See the markings on the container. When it gets to the very bottom, there'll be some bubbles coming up the line and I'll shut it all off. There we go. If you look at the container, that's a 1.75 gallons. All right, I'm now going to repeat the test. I've got the dial set on zero. <coughs> I'm going to turn the water on, and then I'm going to rotate that dial till we get some flow going, and then we'll start the measurement tests, seeing how much fluid we're drawing out for how much gallons we get. I got the water running. Now we'll just turn this till we get some fluid flowing. All right there. Definitely coming down a little slower than last time. The idea with this metering valve here, which is something I just added, it doesn't come with the unit, is that you can increase the mixing ratio. So from maybe 16 to 1 up to whatever we measure here. That way you can uh, have a different uh, level of concentrate for different applications. Again, you're going to have to test this on your own. My setup here isn't going to be exactly what yours would be with the kind of hose, the kind of water pressure, but it gives you an idea of the testing method. Again, we'll get bubbles done. I'll shut the water off. We'll see how many gallons we got at the minimum mixing setting. All right. Whoop, look at that. I would say that's four and a half gallons. Five gallon bucket. All right. Thanks for watching. So this is the kind of flow you should have coming out of your wand. Just kind of a shower setting. I've got my hose bib on full. I've got this wand on full. So it's really a very low pressure output. And uh, that's pretty much what you're going to need to get one of these things to work. Alright, talk to you later.